everyone, hope you've had a good week. I'm going to start with a nice little combined warm up. You'll notice my lounge is slightly different. We're, uh, we've cleared some space, all the mess is neatly stacked up behind where you are. And this is going to be Aurelia's uh, nursery because we only have an attic room. So we're going to have to work it out while we're stuck here. So we think we'll probably put a cot behind me. So while it's taking shape, you get to have a little look at it. So uh, warming up, so finding a nice space, grab yourself a drink of water so you've got it with you. Standing up if you can, but if not, sitting up nice and tall. Um, and then just finding a little space. So we're just going to begin with a little bit of loosening. Give your hands a bit of a shake. Give your feet a bit of a shake. That's it, good. Everything a shake. Lovely stuff. Feet hip width apart, knees nice and soft, growing nice and tall up through side, out through top of head. And gently looking from side to side. That's it. Chin to chest. Slowly drawing a circle in the of your nose. And the other way. Good. Give your head a little bit of a hug. And the other side. That's it. Rolling your shoulders backwards. And rolling your shoulders forwards. Going for a bit of a swim. That's it. Swing your arms up and out. Good. Shoulders up to your ears, sniffing the air in. Releasing with a big nosy sigh. Ha! <sighs> Breathing in. Breathing out. Ha! <sighs> Good. Go for a bit of a swim. Sorry about my husband running through there. Just swing your arms up and out. Okay, give your tummy a little bit of a tap. And give it a bit of a massage as well. That's it, good. Drawing a figure eight with your hips. Just to loosen the ligaments to the lower back. And the other way. That's it, great. Just take a little marching spot. Good, we'll do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Bend your knees, swing your arms nice and heavy through the body. Good. Let's have a big open mouth. You want to stretch? Good. I know we're all a bit worried about germ spreading at the moment, but open mouth yawning is really useful if you can because it stops you kind of tensing up and it just lets everything out what the respiratory physio say so yawn with your mouth open as much as you like when you're at home let's do that one more time good we'll just start by taking a nice breath in and then blowing the air out and hugging our beach ball so sniffing the air in blowing the air out breathing in blowing the air out time. Out. We're going to do a bit of a swimming again but this time we're going to do it with the breath. So you're sniffing the air in as you swim out and you're pulling the arms around as you blow out. And if you want to take a little dip of your knees as you swim out that's great. So sniffing the air in, blowing out. Nice strong arms, sniffing the air in and blowing the air out. One more. Out. Good. I'm going to do a little bit of stretching from side to side. I'm going to breathe in, growing up nice and tall. Blow the air out, tilting over to one side. Breathing in, back to centre. Blow the air out, tilting over to the other side. Okay, so sniffing the air in. Blow the air out. Breathing in, back to centre. And blowing the air out.
Right, we're going to repeat the exercise this time. We're going to take a slight twist. So you're going to just turn slightly as you breathe out. Okay, so only going as far as is comfortable and feeling the spine lengthen with each inhalation. So breathing in, blowing out. In, going out, and in, and out, and in, and out. Good, give your hands a bit of a shake. Nice little wiggle, so I'm just looking at my notes. Nice stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to take a breath in, we're going to take the arms up to shoulder length, and then as you breathe out, flex the hands, you're going to take a nice squat as you breathe out for a count of eight, okay? So, if you're not able to squat, you can just use the arms with you, nice and powerful, but this is um, our thigh strength, it's really important, so we're just going to kind of get that building a little bit. You'll feel free to kind of have a chair nearby for support or something if you need to, okay? And as usual, we're sniffing the air through the nose, Nice and strong because it warm, wets and cleans the air. So we're going to breathe through the nose as much as we can. Okay, so sniffing the air in. And blowing the air out. In. And out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more breathing in. And out. Two, three, four. going to do is we're going to do some of our swings that we did a few weeks ago. So you're bending your knees in the middle and you're swinging your arms like a pendulum in a clock, okay? And we're going to do some aspirated sounds. So we're going to do shh. First of all, we're going to do shh. Next of all, then we're going to do a hey, okay? So we will do four shh, four shh, and then eight hey's, okay? But we'll take a breath back in in between each set. So shh. First of all, sipping the air in and shh. Good. Breathing back in. And. Breathing back in. Eight hays. Hey, 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 hey. Good. Give your shoulders a little shake. Stuff a little shake. Lovely stuff. What we're going to do is we're just going to do a little bit of our candle. Um, Breath, so you're going to move your arm four times. So first of all, nice and close to the mouth. Next one, you're moving out a little, a few inches, a bit further, and then arms leg. Okay, so you should always try and feel a little bit of cold air on the finger if you can. It's a bit like your spirometry readings. You're going to have to blow quite hard. We'll take a nice big breath back in in between. So it's going to be quite slow. So it'll go like this. You're going to blow out. <sighs> Breathing in. Next one. <sighs> Breathing in. Next one, breathing in, last one, okay, so we'll do it one more time, I'm going to actually just move my fingers slightly side of my mouth so you can still see what I'm doing, so breathing in, blowing out the candle, next one, blowing it out, next one, blowing it out, and last one, and blowing it out, Good job. Fill your lungs back up. Have a big sigh. <sighs> Good. And then just do a little bit of breathing with the arms last of all for our breathing exercises today. So sniff the air in, arms go up to chest, blowing the air out. Sniff the air in, arms go up to the side, blowing the air out. Nice arms go to the head, and then blow the air out. Okay? And um, we'll do that once through like that, and you'll do it once through again with squats on the end of it. Okay? So sniff the air in. Bring that out. Bring that in. Bring that out. Bring that in. And bring that out. Do it again with squats. Thank you. 
gave the children a little bit of a roll. Lovely. Last of all, we're going to do a little bit of our arm movement, okay, with our breath. So one foot in front of the other if you're able to. If not, you can just sit and uh, sit up tall. So as you sift the air in, you're bringing the arm towards you. And as you blow out, you're going to move your arm forward, lean forward for the duration of that exhale, okay? So it's got to keep moving your arm. If you're here and you're still breathing out, you've done it too quickly, so you get used to it. It just helps us kind of monitor our outflow, okay? Particularly when we're trying to get um, some stamina back up, okay? And get that nice long outflow for those of you with COPD, we're trying to extend the outflow, okay? Um, so we're just going to practice the sniff breath in. We're just going to breathe out to a shh, first of all. So you might take a little bit less time than I do, but it's just you've got the principle, okay? Or you might be um, breathing out for longer than I am, okay? Whatever. So breathing the air in, blowing the air out. In. And out. I'm going to do one from the side, breathing in and out. Just so you can see what I'm doing, okay? This time we're going to do a nice hum. So you're just going to do mm, as you breathe out, so sniffing the air in and breathing out to. Mm, And next one, but to an ooh and ooh. And next one, but to an ah. ah. And one more to an ah. Do our tiny little fly game. So you're holding the fly between your fingers. Fly can buzz higher, can buzz lower, can buzz from side to side. Okay, so sniffing the air in. Here we go. You're going to then catch it with a big splat. Fly it around. Shake it. Eat it. And spit it out the tongue out. There. We're going to do it one more time, okay? So sniffing the air in, fly it around, bzzz, catch it with a big slap, fly it around, shake it, eat it, spit it out with your tongue out, there. Good, stretch your face really wide, screw it up really small, and chew the mouth open. And that's your mouth closed. And I just want to show you a quick something before we go on to our vocal part. So what we're going to do is we're just going to give our jaw a bit of a stretch. It's quite hard when um, we're stressed or indoors. We, our tension always rises to the highest point, and that's our jaw. Um, and you see I've got quite a heavy ones, so it's quite important. So we do, I'm just going to give you a little resistance exercise for the jaw. It's just a nice one to kind of help you relax. So you're going to put your hands on your face like you're pulling a cutesy pose, okay? And you're going to gently push up with the heels of your hands. Not really hard, but just gently pushing up, so giving a little bit of resistance. We're going to open and close the mouth eight times. So doing that. And then taking a big yawn and letting the resistance go. You give yourself a nice little straight down here if you do that. Do that again. And you should feel everything really nice and loosening off. You can do it eight, four, two, one down if you want to with that yawn. This is equivalent if you know when you're at school and you help people's arms down and then you let them go and your arms float up. You should just release everything, which is really nice if we're feeling a bit tight around the jaw. I do it just generally in the day, you know, if the, if the baby's been crying quite a lot. Just need to release everything because you're a bit like this. So you just kind of release the tension. Lovely. If you just put, um, pause the video, sit down for a minute, have a drink, and then come back and we'll do some vocal exercises. Okay? Thank you.